Good morning, St. Pius. I'm Katie Rainey. And I'm Pete Oss, and you're watching The X Factor. Today's saint of the day is Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and Companions. He is the first canonized Filipino martyr who became a witness to the faith almost by accident. As he was fleeing a legal charge, he ended up with a group of Dominicans headed to Japan where they were all arrested, tortured, and finally executed. If you are interested in working in the armory, there will be a training session during study hall today. Homecoming tickets are still on sale in the armory until next Wednesday with $20 for a couple and $10 for an individual. If you do not purchase them in the armory, they will be sold for $15 at the door homecoming night per person. And freshman mixer tickets are $5 per person or $10 at the door. Dance permission slips are available in room 108 and the due date is September 27th. Next week is homecoming week, so Monday will be Malibu Monday for you to dress up in summer attire. Make sure outfits are appropriate and they are not disrupting. Throughout homecoming week, Stuco will be hosting a donation drive competition for victims of the hurricanes. Each class will be responsible for an item on the donation list, and the class that brings the most will earn a dress down day. Freshmen will have toothpaste, sophomores toothbrushes, junior shampoo, and conditioner, and seniors will have packaged snacks. Good luck. The first Interact meeting will be held on Monday morning at 7.45. We will be discussing what the club is and those in charge and the projects we will be doing, so please attend. Now we go over to Julia with a story about Spanish Heritage Month and over to Josh with a story about swim. Hi, this is Julia Adams reporting for The X Factor on a story about Spanish Heritage Month. Hi, I'm Leslie and I'm a senior and... And I'm Ulysses and I'm a freshman. Um, I am the first generation born here my parents are usually from Guanajuato, which is in Mexico. And like same, I was born here. My family's from Mexico, from Chihuahua, and like the city or something. So, way we keep our culture alive in our house is like we like celebrate the same things that we do in Mexico, like Cinco de Mayo, Day of the Dead, stuff like that. Okay, my family and I keep our culture alive by speaking Spanish at home and with everyone else in our families. Esta es la herencia hispana del mes para el X-Factor. This has been Julia Adams, back to you. Good morning, St. Pius. This is Josh Revenue bringing you this week's story on Boys Swim. Okay, so we swam uh, 11 meets so far. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We, uh, pretty strong so far. We've got a lot of major accomplishments between all the swimmers. So. Um, right now, I'm the only senior. There's uh, five juniors and one freshman, so hopefully next year we can keep the team alive and have more people join. <laughs> so right now, we got our uh, 200 free, uh, met, I'm sorry, 200 free relay uh, time, and we hope to get more accomplishments later in the season. That's all for Boys Swim. Tune in next week for a homecoming special edition story on football. I'm Josh Revenue, signing off. Solid stories. Yeah, I think they did a great job. Happy birthday today to Metzli Tovar. Tonight, uh, JV and Varsity Girls Tenants play at their West Central Conference and Varsity Football plays at Warrensburg. Lunch for today is toasted cheese ravioli. That's all we have for today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have, have a great, great day, day St. Pius.